Hi, hello, how are you? And welcome back to another speed build. I don't know why, but I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys through a speed build. Is that weird? I don't know. Um, so this is a little bit after I bought the pack because, um, as you know, or as you probably know, The Sims just turned 18. And so, not The Sims 4, obviously, but The Sims franchise in general. And so, they put the Romantic Garden stuff pack on sale in the gallery for half off. I think I mentioned this in a previous video that I snatched it up immediately without even knowing what the occasion was. But um, I didn't actually, when I bought it, I didn't have a plan to make a build dedicated to that pack. But that's kind of what happened. And I'm really happy with how it came out. But I was like, oh, I'll make a park. And then it actually, because parks have so many requirements that just didn't fit with what I imagined this place to be. Um, this is kind of like this romantic walking garden area. I don't know. There's a place um, where I live and it's um, forever ago, you know, like the 1800s and whatnot. It was um, a plantation. But now it's like, I mean, I guess whoever owned it originally was really into art and stuff. And then, like, it just kind of grew and grew. And the gardens were, like, this huge thing. And so now it's just these huge walking gardens with, like, sculptures and trees and poems engraved into the walls. And, like, it's just this, ma it's a magical place, basically. Plus, it has so much history. So, like, and a zoo. But not, like, a zoo zoo. Like, they have horses and stuff. But basically, it's everything I ever dream of. And it's one of my favorite places in the world. Um, because I mean, where, how could you go wrong? History, beautiful gardens and animals. The, like, I just love it all and poetry, but anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. Um, and so I kind of had a small section of that in mind when I built this, because obviously that place is massive. There's no way you could contain it in a single lot in the Sims. No way. I really, I don't think it's possible. But anyway, and so I was kind of imagining there's this one kind of central courtyard area in there. And I was like, I had that in mind. And then I was like, I'm going to do this kind of courtyard space with these walking paths off to the sides. And then there's this um, oak alley. Um, it's only four trees because of space on this lot. But I mean, normally, I also don't know if it's pronounced alley or alley. But whatever, I'll, I'm going to say alley for now because, I mean, technically it's kind of like an alley, an alley formed by the oak trees. But anyway, there's only four. But it's like kind of this romantic space and I have the arch there and it's kind of like a place where I imagine like either you sit, you just admire the beauty of the trees and the flowers and there's this archway. It's like very pi picture perfect. And it's also the obvious location for him to get married if you wanted to do that here. But basically, I really wanted to focus on the plants, and I really wanted to focus on, I don't know, giving this place kind of a sense of history almost. I have the wishing well in the corner just because I, obviously, until I bought this pack, I didn't have the wishing well, and so I wanted to use it. And I didn't want the thing to be, the uh, lot to be completely symmetrical, although, although much of it is symmetrical, but just I wanted little elements to be just a tiny bit different, just, I don't know, um... And so that you'll notice as I go through, I kind of play with things that I make because the palette for this stuff pack, there are, there are a bunch of colors, but there's also kind of white, the white part of the palette. There's kind of two versions where it's like this off white and it'll have like vines and things kind of growing on whatever the stone is. And then there's one that's like pristine white. And so I tried to kind of play with the things that would be more aged versus new or the things that not even necessarily aged, but would be kind of more left to their own devices versus new. So like those walls or I don't remember if I changed those, but right now those walls are very pristine whereas I think the fountains hanging on them were kind of aged with the um the moss and stuff on them and I really like that and basically the whole time I was just imagining a place where um my sims could just stroll around because like I said I was originally going to make it a park but then parks require you to have a bathroom and a certain number of tables and you have to have chess tables and I tried to fit those in you'll see that later 
But in the end, I was like, these really don't match what I'm going for here. Like, this isn't the place you come and play chess. This is the place you walk around and you talk and you enjoy nature. And it's just very beautiful. And I liked it. And I really liked playing with the plants for this. I don't think I use any plants or anything at all that isn't either romantic garden stuff or base game. I could be wrong, but if I do use anything outside of those, then it's going to be like the barest, barest handful of things. And so if you download the this lot and you don't have anything but um, base game or romantic garden stuff, you're not, it's not like a whole bunch of the lot's going to disappear. Because I tried really hard. I was like, I don't want to use anything other than this. And I mean, it's a garden stuff pack, so it's basically all plants. Honestly, I wish there were more statues. I was not wanting for plants. I was wanting for statues. Because, like I said, I was emulating it off of that real place. And so, there are only the two statues. There's like this um, kind of woman pouring water, and then there's this guy thinking... And I wanted statues just everywhere, but I kind of settled for just two statues on either side. Yeah. I love the fountain, though. I did not realize because I brought a sim into this lot after I built it, just kind of play with stuff and make sure everything worked. Um, and I didn't know you could fill the fountain with bubbles. I feel like that's something I should have known. And then also just getting the fountain and play in it, which is great. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just... This for me, is a very serene lot. Like, this is, I mean, you could throw apart, you could use this lot for a lot of things because it's it's just a garden. At its basic, it's just a garden. And so, you could have weddings here, birthday parties here. I don't, I mean, you couldn't really have a dinner party here. There's no tables or anything. But I mean, if you want to figure it out, this lot, you could also, if you wanted to put in a little um, extra effort, do a few extra steps, you could turn this whole lot into a room, you know, by using the, um, not the room tool, like walls and stuff, but the one where the dots, I don't remember what it's called. It's like the something room tool, but anyway, um, you could do that and then hide all the walls, but it's still a room, save the lot as a room to your library. And then put this on, like, if you build some giant estate somewhere or something, I don't know. I mean, you could honestly, you could put a house in the middle of this where the fountain is. You could replace that with a little house or something. And, oh, my God, that would be amazing. Wouldn't that be? That'd be, my gosh, that would be fabulous for so many reasons. One, would you not want to be the Sim that lived in a little adorable cottage-type gardeny house surrounded by this? Or even in real life. Would you not want to just be surrounded by this beautifully landscaped area the whole, all of the time? But that was also, you guys know how I am with the landscaping. Like sometimes I just get too into it. And if I thought the landscape luxury build was a lot of landscaping, <laughs> I did not know what my future self was getting up to. And I mean, that's an obvious statement, but you know what I mean? Like, look at this, guys. Do you know how long you see me pl placing these little, um, I think they're the daisies or something, those little yellow flower bushes? And you're watching me go, do, 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 do. But no, that took forever. <laughs> and I had to do both sides and then, like, trying to make it generally symmetrical for, like, those things or the bases. Oh, my goodness. But it was so fun to place plants around things like the, um, like the wishing well where, like, kind of crowded in. Oh, that's one thing. I don't know. I haven't tried um, to use the wishing well on this lot because I did. I just surrounded it with flowers, so you probably can't use it. But I wanted it to look really overgrown with flowers. But, I mean, if you download the lot and you just delete those flowers, or you might not even have to delete all of them But um, to use the wishing well. But for me, the wishing well wasn't supposed to be so much the wishing well on this lot as it was supposed to be just this kind of beautiful fountain so i mean i don't know also um oh darn it i just lost my train of thought i don't i feel like this is a good place for screenshots like for your sims or for photography um if you wanted to like i don't know get all your sims together for a family portrait this would be a cool place i haven't played a lot with the photography skill but now i want to do that <laughs> um I probably should play with the photography skill more, but you know what? That's a lot of work. Uh, not really. I'm just kidding. Um, also, I tried really hard to um, make a diverse but matching color palette for this thing because with the romantic garden stuff, it's a really, 
really easy, I noticed as I was going through, to get sucked into kind of this like pink pit where just, I mean, originally the outer walls were pink and I used a lot of pink plants and the roses are pink and the potted plants are pink and it was a lot of pink and so that's why I really tried to focus in um purples and yellows with the smaller flowers and then when I get to back to those other fountains um in the corners not or well they're not in the corner they're in the corners of the center area I tried to focus on not being so pink and I tried to break it up and um building the with the oak trees was awful I usually don't put those big trees on um any lot really because when you're building you can't get that angle underneath like if you're following a sim and so I never know if they actually look good or if they're just crowding the whole build but here I thought it worked and then I really um oh my gosh I was like trying to embrace it. I was like it'll be okay the trees are big at this angle and they look like they're blocking everything but when you play on this lot it's going to be fine and when I played on the lot it was fine and obviously when you zoom in the trees will like disappear and stuff but I really want to, I got to find a sim that I can bring in here. I mean, I say that like I don't have sims for days, but a sim that I want to bring out here to this lot and then take a screenshot of them standing in the middle of the oak trees, not necessarily in the archway, but like in, so the archway is like around them in the background. Yeah, that would be amazing. And here's where I tried, um, like adding see I was gonna add these bathrooms I was like I'll just do two tiny bathrooms and then I was like maybe one will have a, ba a toilet and one will just have a sink and because I was gonna try to make them these like so they didn't look like bathrooms they just kind of looked like these buildings or something and I was like no screw it this will just be a general lot or whatever the category is so I can do what I want and I paid really close attention because I know I have an issue with this um with my houses and stuff that I don't usually look at the lot in the dark uh, to see how it's lit and I know I should but I don't know I just never think about my sims going outside in the dark and so this time I made sure to put out I mean I was gonna put the lamppost in in oh my gosh I was going to put the lamppost in anyway because they look great but I really wanted this place to be lit um and so, no one take that sentence out of context, by the way. I swear, I mean lights. Um, and so, then I also go, I think after I do all of the landscaping for the whole lot, I go through and add the little, um, the little lanterns that go on the ground. And those were kind of a pain because I had to, they're kind of tall. And so, I had to shrink them to make them work. Definitely download this lot with move objects on so nothing freaks out and deletes itself. I also didn't really know what I wanted to do with those spaces between the rounded area, the rounded hedge, and then those little um, fences. And I just decided to leave them because I was like, you know what? There's a lot of crowded floral nonsense everywhere. And so just have some plain green, some grass. And I think it, I think it worked out well. I am very happy with it. And then I ended up going back and changing the whole outer wall because I didn't like the pink as much. And I was like, you know what? Let the wall be aged. The gates can be well taken care of. And like those inner walls can be really nice. But I really like the plants on the wall, like the ivy on the walls. So I was kind of frustrated. I was like, I wish I could have the white brick walls with the ivy on them. But that wasn't an option. But I, I think it came out nice. I think that it's a very, I mean, obviously there's not a lot to do here. But it's a very scenic um, lot. And it's a, definitely a lot where you could just, like, if you or Sim wanted to have a picnic or something. I don't know. Um, I was going to say this could be a good date lot, but I don't know. Because, like I said, there's not a lot here. I guess if your date just end up all your little items it told you to do were just to uh, talk on benches <laughs> and hold hands, this would work. But... I don't know. I just really wanted to build a really pretty lot. Like I wasn't that concerned with like the function. I just wanted to be a lot that your sim would walk around in and like maybe get married at. Like if you download this, download this lot and marry some sims under that archway, I must see the marriage. Send me screenshots. I want to see your happy couples. I will literally scream. Um, 
I mean, you won't hear it, but I'll scream. But anyway, the screenshots are about to come through, so I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and download this build on the gallery if you feel like it belongs in your world. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next video. Bye!